Okay, guys, so this is the Atom, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna get recording really fast without using the mouse. Um, so I'm gonna show you just live recording and also step sequencing, editing, and some quantizing, and just a uh, really fast workflow, basically. So if I wanna set up my track, I go into the setup button here, and in here I've got browser, and I can set my tempo from here and things. Uh, so when I hit browser, opens up my track, and I can select my preset. So this is an impact preset, and if I hit select, opens the instrument. So this is my nav, kind of like my mouse section. Um, so really quickly, I've got my instrument opened with its preset. Then I have the option to press the preset button and select through different settings as well if I want to do that on the fly. Um, so I'm happy with this setting. And now I can hide my instrument, so show hide. So now I've got a clear screen to start live recording. Um, Okay, so what I also do in my transport section here, I've got the option to turn my click on or off. And if I hold shift, I can turn on my pre-count, so four beat pre-count. So let's start recording. Okay, so that's just something really fast recorded um, on impact on minimal techno setting. Um, I'm sure I played it pretty okay. Let's listen back. Okay, so what we can do is just to tighten things up a little is hold down shift and go into nudge, which also has a secondary function of quantize. So shift means that turns it into the quantize button. And you'll see on screen everything kind of jumped into place. Okay, um, what I can do then is open my editor button. So now that, that opens my edit for moving around MIDI notes and changing some velocity settings and stuff. So I can move right through my notes. And then I can shift my notes up and down as I want. Okay, and also I can get in there and individually change the velocity settings for individual notes. So, you know, really fast. Again, I haven't touched my mouse once here. I've done some live recording, uh, quantized and editing some notes already. Okay, so next thing I wanna do is let's drop in a loop. So if I hit set loop, and I move to the right marker and press down. So that sets the locators for my loop. And again, if I hit shift and play, my secondary function is loop. So that turns on my loop. So let me see if we can play back through this. I can turn off my click. Okay, so that's all quantized, set up in the loop. Um, if I hold shift and editor, I can close my edit window. So I've got a nice clear page uh, ready to set up my next track. So again, head into my setup button, hit browser. Uh, I'll just select the same impact setting again. Okay, so what we've got is another instance of impact and I can hide this. And what I wanna do now is set up a pattern. So like step sequencing, so if I go into setup and hit pa pad number five, that'll drop in a pattern. I can also hit duplicate and that duplicates my pattern. Um, okay, so what we can do then is you'll see if I press edit, it opens up this pattern window now and you'll see I'm working through the steps of my pattern. Um, also you'll see my atom turns into a step and step sequencer now instead of a live playback tool. So what I can do is drop in some notes and use my up down to select through my different sounds. So let me see. So I'll drop in some kicks. I scroll down to some claps. And then you can keep building. Okay, so we can keep building on this and I can even, uh, you know, hold down shift and add some uh, different variations on my, my steps, the feel of my steps as well. Um, okay, so let's see. Okay, we measure, me, uh, mentioned pressure sensitive. So if I go in, set up, and let's this time open, instead of a drum machine, let's open a Mai Tai synth. Okay, so you see I've got my instrument is open. 
can play through my notes here. You see my white keys are on yellow, my blue keys are my black notes. And I'll hide my instrument. And again, I haven't touched my mouse yet. Um, I'll also hide my editor from the last track. Um, so, if I open my instrument, you'll see <clears throat> that when I press the key, I trigger the key, but also when I hold down my key, I have the option to send pressure. So again, it feels really nice, really snappy, but it's also you know, a great tool for live performance and expression, so it works polyphonic as well. So. Um, yeah, so velocity sensitive and pressure sensitive. Um, okay, one last thing I'll show you guys, uh, just a really fast tool for setting up on the fly is note repeat. So again, let me drop in, let me go back and drop in a impact. Okay, we'll just pick the same one, ag oh. pick the same one again. Okay, so impact. Now if I hit, let's say this hi-hat, that's the last sample I triggered, and I can go to note repeat, and that'll, that'll trigger my notes for uh, quarter notes, eight, it's written on each key for what, you, what way you can trigger them. So again, we can go in and we can record these. Let's put on my count in. And then also I can get in and quantize these really fast. That's just a really fast introduction of the workflow of Adam. Um, again, the idea is that we want you not having to jump to your mouse and your keys and your keyboard, but staying within the Adam controller. Really responsive, really expressive, and also a really fast workflow.